Kill him. Hello and welcome back to Bridge Boy 513. It is time to tear apart this microwave. Now we need the transformer. Let's tear apart a microwave. <laughs> what could go wrong with that? In fact, don't worry about hurting the thing. You're going to tear it apart, so just flip it around and take it apart. Okay, so every now and then you come up to these different driver heads. Just take your screwdriver, right? Get in there, pop that sucker off. Okay, takes less time than looking for a tool. That doesn't matter because you're taking this thing apart anyways. Okay, so we got the whole thing unwrapped. We're just going to disconnect the transformer. I've already taken it off of the base. All right, so here it is. It's a pretty nice transformer in this microwave. We know it's pumping up some uh, 220 ATT at no more than 2200 volts AC. So that's the capacitor's max. So we know that this can't be putting out more than that. Okay, so here's the MOT that we pulled out of the microwave. Remember, we pulled that out just a second ago and had a different secondary winding. You see, this white wire is new because I've taken out the old secondaries, which is very small gauge wire, thousands of wraps. Okay, super high voltage. That's what powers the magnetron. And we're putting in our own secondary to transform from 110 volts, which is the primary coil here, which we left, to our new. 24 wrap, 12 gauge stranded coil, which will give us 24 volts of alternating current. And then when we step it down to low voltage, you have that. So that'll be right at 12 volts. See, I've soldered a, uh, another copper line on here. Now I'm just going to finish pulling this wrap. Make sure that you don't hurt this. I put shrink wrap on that so it won't be conductive. But you need to place it at the right spot. Pull it around. So now the wrap is continuing around and this is my center tap, okay, for the positive. Now I'll just continue to wrap this around another 12 times and we'll test it. So we did 12 first, did our mid tap, then we did 12 again. I, I think I think I got 11 or 12, I'm not sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out to the power and we're going to test the secondary to find out exactly how many winds. <sighs> Okay, so I have a power cord here. I cannibalized the end and put two uh, 10 gauge leads on it with these little crimps. Just go ahead and hook that up to the primary of the transformer. Make sure nothing's touching. I can plug this power in. I can barely hear it hum. So now I got my tester. Let's pull the pole on. 22.1 so that means I've got 22 turns let's get this inside do two more turns okay so we know we need two more turns on the transformer this MOT is taking a little bit of time and the reason why is because this wire was just under 19 feet long if you want to do 24 turns on this size MOT you're going to need about 19 feet of wire. And so doing those circles at first with 19 feet of wire takes a lot of patience. So just sit down, pull it through, and try not to let it get kinked or twist. Try to let it follow its natural form from the factory 
by not twisting it too much. But I'm just going to do these last two wraps, which should be pretty fast. It's starting to get full enough where I don't have to use these on the sides to hold the wire from moving. These are great little spacers for when you're winding. So now I know I'm going to come and stay up high here, so I'm going to jam her down this side. should be 24 turns now, which will give me 24 volts. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to put something in here, make sure she doesn't move for just a little bit. Okay, this little pin is just enough space to hold that wire while I massage the coil just a bit. Look for any loose wires. Always twisting your coil towards the end. That's pretty close. So we've got our center tap, our outer tap, and we have our mid tap. So these two will both go to the heat sink and resistors before they hook up to the neutral portion or the negative and this will be my positive that goes straight to the battery. Okay? Now you hit them and don't touch the two leads because they're still hot. <laughs> 